Lynn, or Lynn here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner in my basement. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you back here again to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is showing you the bowels of my basement. <laughs> Uh, this will be, I don't think this is going to be episode one in my Christmas decor series, but I do want to show you my process. And my first process in that decor series will be to deconstruct my fall decor upstairs. And in order to do that, Chris, bless his heart, will carry all of these bends that you can see sitting here up the steps for me. And... First thing I'm going to do is go through the bends and I'm going to get rid of things that I did not use. Now I'm not talking about the foliage right there in that box. I won't get rid of that because I didn't use all that I bought this year. I will keep the foliage, but everything else that I did not use as in flax or old candles or, you know, older decor. I know I have a couple of trays and that kind of thing. I'm going to have a bend set, a, set aside just for goodwill and that way I am not going to have to go through the same stuff and set the same stuff aside again as you all know I have every nook and cranny covered with fall decor upstairs and there's no reason why somebody else in this area could not get use out of some of the things that I have in these bins that I never used so that's the first thing I'll do and I'll probably bring you guys along with that and then I will start packing away just deconstructing the fall is going to take me probably a complete day, maybe two, just to do that. Because, I, you know, I'm very careful when I take apart my lantern centerpieces and, you know, I, I try to organize things very well so when I get them back out the next year, as you saw this year, you know, I know what goes where. So, anyway, then all of these bends, all of the fall bends, well, as you can see, we have open spaces here. We'll get put, some of these are fall bends too will get put back up on these shelves. And that's where they'll live until next fall. So I just wanted to kind of show you this again. I know I've been down here once uh, at the beginning of my fall series, but I wanted to show you this area again. And then as we move over here, you can see Christmas behind me here. From here, literally you guys, from here all the way over to where that uh, those shelves are. That's not Christmas on those shelves. Uh, everything uh, piled almost to the ceiling in some areas is Christmas. Now, I admit there are some things that I really need to get rid of in here too. Same kind of thing. So maybe when I take Christmas back down or when I get everything that I need up and after Christmas, I can go through and do the same type of thing and take uh, a trip over to Goodwill. Uh, but all of this stuff, and I'll bring you up here and show you Christmas here in a minute, a little bit more of Christmas. But I wanted to show you, as you can see, a lot of you ask me how I store my reeds. Well, to be honest with you, before we're, uh, about two weeks ago, it has been a problem because Lord knows I have many, 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 many reeds that I, and I, this has been all through the years. It's not just been since, since I've been doing my YouTube. I always have a lot of reeds. So Chris figured out a really cool way to hang up my reeds and to keep them nice and safe. And it doesn't, for some reason, it doesn't get dusty down here. I don't know why, but it doesn't. So my wreaths do not get dust on them. But he's been, he's used a C clamp. Like the letter C, C. <laughs> it's the letter C, C-S-E-E, -E, oh my goodness. And a, um, what is this called? A tie wrap. <laughs> up in a C-clamp. He tied, obviously tied the C-clamp onto the rafter up there and then put the put the C-clamp around the reeds. And that's how I store all my reeds. And here are all my reeds. That you all so he uh, took the tie wrap and tied the tie wrap around the C-clamp. No. See, Chris has got these C-clamps. C-E-E. -E. Can you see S E E? <laughs> oh my goodness. And what he does is he, see the little rafters up there? And it has like a lip on it. So he puts the C-clamp on the little lip and then he takes a tie wrap and ties the tie, ties the wreath on to the C-clamp with the tie wrap. So that's how 
my reeds are stored, which I think is ingenious, I'll tell you. It's great. There they all are in all their glory. <laughs> There's some here that you guys didn't see me make. Like, I don't think you guys saw me make that one, that fall wreath. I made that a couple of years ago. That was on my front door before that massive thing that's up there now. So, but anyway, as we look kind of under the wreaths and into all of this menagerie in here, here's the wreath that's going to go on the back of my front door. The thing is huge. It's probably about 32, 33 inches from side to side. There's the wreath that'll go on the front door. Uh, and I'll put the, see this, the ornament garland that's already tied in. That's the uh, garland that goes around the front door on the outside. I'll do the same thing with that wreath. Here's my ornament wreath that I made. And go on in here. And the, and the Christmas tree wreath that I made. So all this will be brought upstairs with all of these bins. Usually I do come down here and earmark which bins I need for Chris to carry up so he doesn't have to carry up more than necessary. As I said, I have some extra stuff in here that I need to take care of. So, but I, as you can see, Chris and I have our work cut out for us just to de redecorate for Christmas. You know, I guess there'll be a time, it'll come a time, there'll come a time in my life when I'll say, no, I can't do it this year, you know. I. Lord willing, I'm going to be able to keep doing this for many years to come because it is work. It's mental work and it's physical work. And, uh, you know, so, but the joy that we all get from it is something very special. Plus, I'm hosting my, our Christmas Eve celebration. Chris and I are hosting our Christmas Eve celebration, and my dad and Stacy and her parents and her husband and her boys will be here along with our girls and. Candace's uh, significant other boyfriend, soon to be whatever, who knows, <laughs> but he'll be here too. So, uh, you know, we're really excited about that, that we get to host and do all of that. So I'm going to want to make it really special for them and for you guys. And I will take you through each step. Now, all of this said, I'm going to head back upstairs. I have a couple of boxes up there. We went to BJ's Warehouse or oh, Wholesale Club this morning. And I have about three boxes up there and I'm going to haul in all of the stuff that I've purchased for this season and I'm going to organize it and I'm going to get it separated all the ribbon in one place and I'm going to get it separated and organized so I don't forget to use anything when I go to decorate because I did that in the fall remember I forgot my it's fall y'all sign so I don't want to forget anything so head on upstairs with me and we're going to do some organizing at my kitchen island Okie dokie, I'm back upstairs and Chris has helped me carry in uh, most of the stuff that I had sitting out in the garage. The only things we did bring in were the tall Christmas trees with the white flocking. Those are sitting out there and just one other Christmas tree with some flocking on it that I will be using. Basically what I have in here and pretty much all that I've purchased this year is more ribbon and foliage, things to be used around in mazes and things like that. So, uh, and table runners. Goodness knows, I've got enough table runners. So, I'm going to go through this stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my camera and point it down a little bit. Y'all aren't gonna believe what I found down there. I cannot believe this, and I did not remember this, and I feel really kind of really bad. But look at all this ribbon that I found. Now, I don't know what's in here, and I'm not even sure if this entire thing is ribbon. But we're going to go through it and see what ribbon I have. And we're going to get it all organized. <laughs> we're going to organize it in two ways. A ribbon that can be used in this part of the house and outside. And ribbon that can be used in the living room and dining room. So I have this big box and I've got some other boxes that you can see sitting back here on my counter a couple of long burger baskets that I can use to organize all this stuff in. So let's get started on this. It might take me a little while here to do all this, but it'll be worth it in the end to... Sam's barking. Yeah, what is it? You have to go out? <laughs> he's a persistent little cuss when he's got to go out. 
Uh, and so anyway, I'm going to turn the camera and get it pointed down and we're going to go through this stuff. It's going to be a lot, I think, but we'll see. Be right back. All righty, here we go. I'm going to start out with this box that I just found in the basement. And let me see what in the world I have in here. Okay, this is like a, a pretty silvery snowflake and burlap. I have a wreath made out of something similar to that. And this is the ribbon that I have my staircase decor or staircase bows made out of, paired with like a gold metallic. So I'm not sure why I have that in a Ziploc bag. I think it was falling apart on me. I have a feeling I bought some of this since it's thrown in like this. I'm gonna say that I bought this at the end of the year on sale. So let's start making piles. I love this. See, my decor in here is not this bright red. It is a more of a burgundy. Obviously, I used this somewhere, though. Love this. I bought some more of this this year. You know what, you guys? I have had this for several years. It is wired ribbon, and it's velvet. And I've never used it. I'm going to contemplate. I don't know whether I really need to keep that. I don't know whether I'll use that. This is the ribbon that I used in that ornament wreath that you guys saw down there. Yep. Goes in the blue pile. Check that out. That's cute. Burlap and kind of a cream burlap. Yeah, I think this is stuff that I bought at the end of the year. Look at that. I just bought some more of that this year. Oh my goodness, could I have walked downstairs to see what I had? Ah. That's a little bit of a dark blue. Not sure I would use that. More silver. Yeah, this was never been opened, never been opened, although it's seen better days. All of this is, now this I've opened. Burlap and that's pretty. More of this gold. I'm glad I'm doing this because I just don't know, silver. How I remember this stuff. Oh my goodness, this gets all over everything. Ah. I got a whole other bolt of it. And just velvet. You know what? Here's velvet. You know what? This does not have uh, wire in it. So this is something that I'm going to get rid of. I'm not going to keep that. That's what I have paired. This is what I have paired with what I have on the steps. Put that with that ribbon. More silver. More of the gold. I have made a bow for the mailbox out of that because I have a mailbox cover with this color in it. So I'm definitely saving this. It's like I've gone to the store, you guys. Good night. I'm gonna keep these. We don't put bows on ribbon on packages. There's some burlap and white. Be pretty to pair with the, in a funky bow, wouldn't it? 
What in the world? Wow. And that is obviously, I didn't use that last year. That's been sitting in here. You know what? I'm getting rid of this. I'm not going to keep what I know I'm not going to use. Like, I know I won't use the Harlick one. I know I won't use that. Over. Ouch. I need my finger back. This is from World Market. You know what? This is really nice. It's not uh, wired, but it is thick. Well, here. Some open up. Some of it open. It is thick and so nice. And it holds its shape pretty well. So, I don't know. That might be cute added into a funky bow, too, huh? Oh, my goodness. Burgundy with a gold. These are cute snowman with silver. A ribbon for packages. So if I use this, I made, uh, and I have a video for this, and if I can find it, I'll put a little mark up there in the right hand corner. I made little Reese Cup. Karen, my friend, and I made Reese Cup Christmas trees last year and I wrapped or a couple years ago I guess it wasn't last year it was the year before I think and I gave it to my family as their kind of like a favor as they left my house on Christmas Eve <laughs> and I used this to wrap their gift bags and I put one of the Christmas trees down into a little box and bag and use that to Make them pretty. So see, I do work on my <laughs> gifts sometimes. All right, my goodness. And that's pretty, look at that. All right, so I've got silver and blue and golds and reds and burgundies. So I'm gonna separate them in that way. I think I'm gonna use these big flat boxes. I'll be able to see what I have better in these. Obviously, this box is not going to work for all this ribbon. So I need to bring back that bigger box and transfer it all over to that one. One thing good about me going through it now, it keeps it, I'll have it fresh in my mind as to what I have. <sighs> lordy, lordy, lordy. I have a ribbon problem. <laughs> now that I figured out how to make funky bows, it's not good. That, my friends, will do that. Hopefully I won't have any more. I'm not guaranteeing I won't though. I can't, can you tell I'm procrastinating about this? I don't think I'm gonna wanna use these in any of my ribbons, but I very well might use it with wrapping gifts, so, or gift bags. So I think that's where I'll put it. With that in mind. I don't want to forget this. This is why I'm doing this. You know, you could put these in this box over here.
giving away this. I don't think I'm going to use for Christmas. I may use it for winter, although I really don't decorate for winter, but I might find something to do with that. So who knows what I'll come up with. So that goes to the gifts. This is not much of it left, but I really like it, so I'm going to keep it. All right. Now, the rest of what I have is a good set of like foliage type things. So, let me see here. Let's start out at least making this my green or lighter colored box. And things that are going to be going in the living room or dining room. Owls. I'm going to leave those in the bag because they tend to cry all over everything. So until I use them, they're going to be, I'm going to leave them in the bag. That's from that haul yesterday. Or the other day, I guess. All right. Let's see. Not sure where I'll use these. I want to say in here, but I'm not positive on that. Definitely these little fellas <laughs> will be used in there. You're so cute. See, I'm so glad I'm doing this. The ribbon is stressing me out, I will say. I have way too much ribbon. So, but now I will use a good bit of it. We'll just see how much. Obviously, these go in here. And I think I will be more apt to use these. These little things go in here, along with these poinsettias. Little bird nests. Car. <laughs> Don't want to forget him. And the only thing left in here, these are candles. So I'm going to put that in the white or the lighter orange box in my spiffy little cookie jar red truck cookie jar boxes instead of bags Walmart, good job. Cardinals. Remember that happy holidays?
truck towel. Ew, I forgot one thing. This little thing. I love this. Remember this from Lowe's last week? the other day and it can stand alone and sit out there and I also have the other train that I got uh, from Hobby Lobby that I'm gonna put under my big tree so that's sitting out there too alrighty <laughs> Phew, I'm tired as you can see I've got my my ribbon box right there and that's to go to Goodwill and that basket is empty and these two bags are empty so I did consolidate that box is all of my red foliage and then the box behind it is all of my light colored foliage so and then here's my ribbon here my lighter colored ribbon here so right here in this box so I feel much better I just need to figure out where to where I can set all this stuff now out in my garage because that's where I'm gonna put it I'm not going to take it hoof it downstairs I'll put it in the garage and leave it there until I'm ready to use it which will be pretty quick coming up here in the next couple of weeks I think I did want to show you uh, a couple of things and I'm not buying anything else but we went into BJ's uh, warehouse this morning and I found this really pretty little cargo bag for daddy Isn't that pretty so I will either put this out on my front porch. I'm really thinking about putting it out there. Wouldn't it be pretty for a you know, front door mat? Or right here by my sink. So I don't know. I did get that. And I wanted to show you something. For those of you who have a BJ's, I don't know whether they do something like this in Costco or not, but this is called American Home by Yankee Candle. Now, I'm not familiar with this. Maybe some of you guys are. But I am not familiar so but boy this smells it's called spicy cinnamon here you can see American home by Yankee Candle spicy cinnamon guess how much this cost you guys $12.99 as opposed to what is it $27.99 or something like that for a Yankee Candle candle of this size I'm gonna light this right now and I'm gonna put it in my little centerpiece over there. Ah, it smells so good. And I'm gonna see if it works as well as the Yankee Candle does. We'll see. I don't know. It's a lot cheaper. I mean, of course, we all get coupons for Yankee Candle, of course. But if I can find them, like, if I just wanna run and get a candle and not have to pay $30 for it, pay half that, I'm gonna do it at BJ's. So, all right, you guys. <sighs> That's it for this one. I, it, I'm going to have to cut this one down. I'll probably have, you will have seen how I sped through some of this ribbon mess <laughs> and organize that because I see I have 35 minutes here on my camera and I don't want to go too far over that. We got a lot coming up here. So I was just getting ready to close out, but I found another bag behind me, you guys. <laughs> so let's go through it real quick. This is what I, I, this is that really pretty, uh, well, here's my spoon rest. So I'm actually going to keep these in the kitchen. And this is what I got from Ann that last week. This pretty little owl member. I'm going to put him right here in the light colored ribbon right there with that. And this little snowman family. I know we'll go with that ribbon too, that front room. So, I remember my little Christmas tree. Oops. And my two little tall snowmen. <laughs> I'm just putting them right down here in, in one more basket here that I have. 
and that little truck, that little red truck. <laughs> No man. I will reorganize that. And my two little blue Christmas trees. And I'll go over in that too. One little pretty Christmas tree that I'm going to keep wrapped up is that. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'll be back with some final words. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to shut this one out for now, and I'll just say, until next time, you guys take good care. Bye-bye. Hang on just a minute. I just got everything organized. As you can see, I've got all of my lighter colored ribbon and a little bit of decor that I bought for this year, and all the foliage. Remember, I bought this one table runner that may go on my table. So all of this, I'm actually going to take and sit down in my bay window because I'm that close to decorating that I'm not going to go ahead and put it in the garage. I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. The dogs really don't go in there. And even if they do, they're not going to bother this. They don't bother this stuff. And I will take these three things and take them, put them back out in the garage on my little black... chest out there. That's all ribbon in there. Isn't that crazy? This is the rug I just bought and the table runners. And then this is all the foliage. So that's it, my friends. I'm all organized with everything that I've purchased this year. Next thing, next thing will be to deconstruct fall. <laughs> so, alrighty. Now I will say, until next time, Y'all take good care. Bye-bye.